Hello, this is another in a series featuring the Brother SC4000. Got a request to show you how to fix the spool pin. You know, this thing in the back. Mine's still working, but uh, I can still show you how to fix yours if yours is broken. Uh, I already took the liberty of taking out all the screws to kind of speed things up. If you want, I do have other videos which show how to disassemble. Just look up SC4000 machine disassembly. Um, so I underscrewed the bottom plate here. We're going to move that aside. We're going to move this part off. I'm going to take off the bobbin plate. Or try to. Well, actually, it's all one piece. I already took it out. I took out all the screws in the back, but uh, first we do need to take this off. We also need to take this panel, just pulls towards you, and we'll pull that off. And then it's already pre-loosened, but you can see this snap area this snap area in the middle and then there's also a snap area on the back so what we really need to do is get back here so this is tricky for a couple of reasons there's three points that hold this machine's back plate down so the first one we kind of need to inch it past the power so inch it past the power here so it's loose there and then over here you can see that the back plate is cut on the presser foot so we need to actually put the presser foot down bang and then we kind of have to coax this piece past the presser plate um, but in order to do that you also need to move the handle up so that you can get all this past. So try not to break your plastic. I'm going to put the thing down while I get... This part's especially tricky, especially with one hand, and I don't really want to break my machine. So I'm going to put this thing down while we do that. Okay, I got to uncoax. And now this panel just comes completely off. And you'll see that I have a better light there. There's a screw thing that holds in your spool pin. So basically what you do is you unscrew it. This is a really long screw. Now you can actually just pull it out. Well, you have to see this little... There's a little plastic dot there. You need to get the panel loose before you pull it out. There. So you unsnap it. Now you can pull the thing out and you'll see that it just comes out like that. So say this one is broke. You just get your new one. Yeah, get some light on there. This is really hard with one hand. Okay, so this is the orientation you need it back in. And so you're gonna actually slide. So it looks like this when it's bent. 
You're gonna thread it through the hole again. Put it right back through. I got it backwards, sorry. <laughs> It's actually the... No, actually I do have it the right way. I'm putting it in upside down. This way. You have to put it in this way. The metal bar is supposed to face you. Slip it in. It slips in. Okay, so... Remember, it was hard to get around first. There's a little plug there. Uh, there you go. See, it lines up with that top hole. As long as you put it through that top hole, everything fits. Now you get your screw. Sorry about the lighting, folks. Put the screw back in. Screw that down, and then you just have to put everything back together. But be careful about this little plastic part. There we go. Be careful about that piece when you're putting things back together. You don't want to snap and break it off. So... I successfully took it out and put it back and didn't screw up anything, which I'm quite grateful for. Okay, so first part, I want to be able to get it past, past the presser foot without getting it pissed off. So we're going to snuck that in first. And then we're going to sneak it in past, oh, this needs to be up. And we got it past the plug. Okay, then you snap everything back together. And this thing, oh, there, it works. <laughs> will be fixed. Alrighty, so that's how you repair your broken spool pin, if you have one, on a Brother SE400. Uh, like I said, if you forgot which screws go to where, now my other video does have that, and I won't bother you with putting it back together. Watch the other video to put it back together. Thanks.